television highlight of the news of yesteryear. Wiley Post, Harold Gatty, and the world. It's June 24th, 1931, as speedy airship Winnie Mae leaves runway at Roosevelt Field, Long Island, in an attempt to circle the globe. First leap of journey carries plane over wilds of Canada. With pilot post at controls and navigator Gatti guiding, Winnie Mae is out to take the record away from the balloon. For its dirigible draft Zeppelin, which holds present round the world record of 12 days, 15 hours. First scheduled stop at Harbor Grace, Newfoundland, Post and Gatti wing the Winnie Mae toward the perilous leap of the Atlantic. This is only four years after Lindbergh's historic flight, and it still takes brave airmen to battle this stormy barrier. But 24 hours later, Post and Gatti are over Holland breaking speed records as their ship streaks toward Berlin. Now thousands of miles from home, flying foreigners are given warm welcome at Tempelhof Aerodrome. At same Tempelhof, 18 years later, other American airmen bring life-giving supplies to a dying Germany. And here's phenomena impossible in years to come, an American plane over Moscow, as Post and Gatti cross all of Soviet Russia, and then wing over Kamchatka toward home territory once again, but not before droning over icy waters of the Bering Sea on flight second water hop. Six days out, they're over mountains of Alaska, and a few hours later, Winnie Mae casts her shadow on Canadian soil again. Still closer to home port, Post and Gatti fly over Cleveland Airport, and with America under them once more, they nose Winnie Mae toward New York and journey's end. and darkness is gathering into night over Long Island's Roosevelt Field, and the air is heavy and thick with a murky mist as the Winnie Mae comes in. Eight days, 15 hours, 51 minutes, and 16,000 miles since takeoff time, Post and Gatti have circled the globe. It's new round-the-world record, four days better than the historic flights of the German Zeppelin. Flying time was only four days and ten hours, fast traveling in 1931. There's real fireworks this July of 31, for this is world's most exciting flight. As epic making Winnie Mae is towed to safety of its hangar, flyers tell radio commentator Floyd Gibbons of weeks flight that took them to Harbor Grace, across the Atlantic to Chester, England, to Berlin, Moscow, across Siberia to Kamchatka, over the Bering Sea to Alaska, then across Canada to Cleveland and home again. Over mountain heights and ocean depths, Wiley Post, Harold Gatty and the Winnie Mae have winged around the world.